four. I am Ryan French. I am the producer here at USC Upstate um, for our sports broadcasts. When you're doing a sports broadcast, you have a lot of equipment and a lot of people, and you have to keep it organized, and you have to maintain an integrated system. So you have all your camera sources, all your audio sources. Um, you have a replay machine, an operator. Um, you have camera operators and audio. You have your show control, which is your in-house director. You have your director. And another position that you have is uh, graphics. So you have all these machines that all need to work together and you have the people who are operating them who need to work together. And it's difficult sometimes to make that happen, but if you have people who know what they're doing and who work well together, you can make, um, you can make it seem like a very easy and seamless process uh, when you have people who know what they're doing and you have good equipment. I'm Trey Morrow, I'm the director of athletic video services at USC Upstate. Uh, we put on ESPN3 broadcasts. Um, I'm the director, I'm the person who actually chooses what goes onto the screen. So when you're watching TV at home, somebody is actually choosing what goes on the screen at what time. So obviously to make a live production, there are a lot of moving parts, there are a lot of different positions. Um, there's the director, there's the producer. Uh, the producer's role for our broadcast is to call our logger uh, to make sure ESPN is picking up a signal from us and to go over when we're going to commercial and getting us in and out of break, that kind of thing. Um, there's audio who controls our local commercial audio. They control the audio from the commentators. They control audio for any kind of replay wipes or graphics that may have audio um, and even controls the audio that we hear inside of the control room. We run our graphics through a program called Expression. Our Expression operator builds the graphics pre-game and uh, also operates the graphics in-game so if the director calls for a graphic they can put it up we also have an instant replay operator, so most everybody that's watched sports is familiar with instant replay. Um, the director will say, hey, do we have that replay? The replay operator will say, yeah, I have it on red or I have it on blue or green or whatever color. And so the director will say, ready red, replay into red, roll it. The replay operator rolls the replay. The director might say, hey, slow it down right here. Um, or something like that, and then they'll come out of replay uh, either and either go to break if it's a commercial, if it's a media timeout, or go back out to another shot maybe of that player who just made the play or something else that's going on in the game, depending on the director's choice. For basketball, there's one main game camera, which is the camera that you see the majority of the time during uh, a basketball game that follows the action and keeps most everybody in the frame. Then our camera two picks up what we call hero shots, um, which is after somebody makes a basket or makes a miraculous play, um, camera two would zoom in on that player um, and if the director has time or wants to take that shot and they'll take it briefly and then go back to camera one. Then there's also cameras three and four, um, which are under the basket, which are mostly used for replays but they also get a good amount of shots um, while actual play isn't going on. So they get shots of maybe fans, uh, the huddles, the coaches, and that kind of thing. We also use a program called Show Control that we use for our in-house video boards. Um, Show Control uh, controls um, images that go up on the video board, videos that go up on the video board, moving headshots for when the players are introduced and the in-house director is really responsible for creating that um, in-game experience for the fans, keeping them into the game, pumping the players up and uh, giving everybody in the arena an overall great experience. So next time you're watching a live event at home, try to think about what all is going into it, what's going on behind the scenes to make those things appear on your screen and 
when you really start to think about it while the event's going on, it'll give you a totally new perspective.